Hi, you guys. Right now, I have just finished putting my makeup and we are about to go and actually go find some decoration for the Christmas tree. So I thought I would take you guys with me. Right now, I am up here watching The Grinch to Stole Christmas. I love this cartoon around this time. That's so why you guys check this out. This is like my favorite movie, you guys. I always put this on when I'm getting ready, especially right around this time. So I'm gonna go downstairs, cause I think you know who to walk through the door so we can get this Christmas tree started. Let's see what you do, y'all. Boo boo. Y'all, please excuse the house. It's a hot mess. What, what did you do? Editing. Mr. Editor. Or whenever it come out. Yeah, it's supposed to be coming out. That's going to be the Visalign uh, video. So if you guys are waiting on the next Visalign video, that's coming out pretty soon. But this is our little tree. She's so he's so naked. I don't know if it's a he or she, but she's so naked. So we got this is for the fireplace right here. So we're gonna decorate. I got a couple things out, but I want to switch it up a little bit because I want to change the pillows on here. We're gonna see if we can get some pillows today from Home Goods and some different bulbs. And I want to put a different type of ribbon, like the garnish, the ribbons on the tree. So we're gonna show you guys how to do that. Then we might be going to the show tonight, you guys, because King, King, King Richard George. came out today. King, King, King Richard, Richard came out today, y'all. So we want to see that movie. I definitely want to see that movie. I think that movie is going to be amazing. Oh. I said, oh, my goodness. So Venus Serena, that's my girl. I do need you to finalize this. Uh, yeah, he always business. Oh, always yeah. strictly business. Yeah, some Wait, why do you toothbrush? <laughs> well, I guess I can even clean out my lighter. So, I will show you guys in a minute when we head to Home Goods and show y'all what we're picking up. So, stay tuned. Seems like you're ready. Girl, are you ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> Somebody please tell help to lead that to the professional. It's so dark in here. I'm a professional. What are you talking about? No. You ready to get this party on the road? Yes, I'm ready to go. So, we can go see my movie. All right, you guys, we walk on the road, ready to go. I'm super excited about this movie, y'all. Uh, I've been wanting to see this movie for the first time they mentioned it on TV because it's something about um, the way the dad was. He did not, he was no joke about Venus and Serena. Like when I say, I remember one part in the interview, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that part, where the guy tried to interview, I think it was uh, Venus, and he was like intimidating. Imagine a little girl. So he pretty much like, do you think you can really beat the girl I guess she was going up against? And she was like, yeah, I know I can. I know I can. Like, you know. And I then... Did see, I did see a little bit of that. Yeah. I didn't see the whole thing, though. He was just like trying his best to intimidate her. I guess to try to make her like feel scared about what she was saying or like she wasn't assured. And that daddy came in like, uh, why are you picking with her? Like, she know what she said the first time. She said what she said. Like, back off. Right. In the preview, in the preview, they was, they was, the, the, the dude was like, um, uh, do you think they can do it? He was like, I think I got two Michael Jordans on my hands. Right, but like, he oh. said one and he was like, no, I got two. So I love the fact that the dad put the confidence in them girls like and i think that's an important thing as far as like a parent goes especially for a child because that's the crucial time that they are being molded and built in them because life will throw you loops like for real for real it will throw you like loops when you get grown so you need that strength and who else is you going to get it from other than the people around you that love you so i love that part and with her dad and the way he was not playing about don't mess with that her confidence back off of that <laughs> and I was like god oh boy so I definitely couldn't I couldn't wait when I saw the story when I saw the whole thing I was like oh I definitely gotta watch this movie but if anybody if if you out there you got kids and just from the child perspective it's so even if you scared or nervous 
Don't ever tell that child. If that child feel like that they, they can do it, they got it. Think about how many rappers out here, how many um, millionaires. I bet you they moms never thought that that's where they would end up. But it was because the confidence that they had and they didn't let, you know, what nobody else, you know, what other people said, back them down. So, honey, I was like, oh, yeah, I love that. So if you got kids out there, even if you nervous, like what the heck is you doing? Back them up 100% because you saw those girls really became somebody and made a staple name, not just for them, but all girls that's of color or anybody who has aspirations to do something. Look, even if you scared, sometimes they say do it scared. <laughs> you get in there and you handle your business. So I love just what the message of the movie is and just how they were a unit. It didn't matter about, you know, uh, what nobody else and they had ever. So these people came at them left and right about, uh, you show how they going to do it. It's never been nobody, especially girls out on the, um, out on the, um, court playing tennis, especially colored girls. And they didn't care. They didn't care about what nobody else said. And, um, it's a couple of other things. I don't want to tell anything in the movie, even though we haven't we seen haven't the movie. movie yet. But just, just going off the, uh, the, previews. the previews. Yeah. And, and going off of what we already know about Venus. Yeah. Arena. Yeah. And then also, um, I was watching the red table talk where Will had took over a uh, Jada seat and brought them in. And one of the things that Venus said that took like really reside with me, she said, what do you do? I think one of the people asked her, what do you do as far as like when the reporters ask you if you did something wrong or when they try to hate on you? And she said, well, first of all, they are not a tennis player. They never play the game as hard as I play. They're not even tennis players. So when they come and ask those questions and they being critiquing and doing all those things, excuse me, I know what I'm doing and y'all don't do what I do. So you can't critique me and tell me how, oh, well, how, why did you mess up this week and blase split? It's easy for them to say that on that reporter. So she said she just ignored them because you don't do what I do. How many, and even Will said, how many movies have you made? And so I love the way they cheer on and let people know you're going to always have somebody who want to say something or have an opinion about how you're doing it or what you're doing it. But you stay focused on the prize, look straight ahead, and ignore what everybody else is saying. As long as you know that you know you got your support and they ride for you no matter what for me honey it's 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 my god for me okay so as long as i know the lord is right for me i got my support system my family my husband i don't care what nobody else say honey we're gonna take this all the way through so i love just the encouragement and what the movie represent so mm -hmm. I'm yeah, we can't wait it. to go see it we're gonna see it tonight yeah uh, we're gonna do a few little, little other things before we get there but yeah we're going to see it tonight. Right. And so now we're heading to the bank and then we're going to end up going to Home Goods so we can get the Christmas stuff. And then we're going to show you guys how we decorate our tree and what spin I put on it, um, at least this holiday season. Because, oh my God, we need like some updated stuff. We didn't have the same decorations for like eons. So it's time to switch it up a bit. So y'all hang in there and we will see y'all in a minute. home goods so we about to go in here and do some christmas shopping for the decor and we're gonna take y'all with us so stay tuned shop until we drop y'all hey. <laughs> yeah because she definitely gonna want to have like all of this stuff i need to get oh that's really cute that's really cute. We need, I really need like some. What color, what color are you trying to do? I really need like some black and white blues. Like I wanted to do like plaid, black and white. Yeah. So maybe we can do a, we might need another reef. So. You black and white? Huh? You doing black and white? I want to do black and white. See, they got blubs over here. 
So I kind of want to do these. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I done came in here and I'm picking up stuff that my butt is not supposed to be getting. This was not in the budget, but how cute this is this pen? So we're gonna try Target because they don't have none of my bugs and I'm just disappointed and I don't want to spend anything. I ain't got no business spinning. So we see how I mean. Well, that was a complete bummer. So you're gonna head to Target or we're we gonna go to. I think we should just go to Target because yeah. I was picking up stuff, y'all, spending the budget that I was not supposed to be paying, spending. So I'm like, well, no. Is a is a TJ Maxx across the street on the car there? TJ, no, I think it's gonna be more of the same thing. Cause I'm looking for like black and white bulbs, like plaid black and white bulbs. Cause I already got red bulbs, but I want to incorporate the black and white. Cause I kind of want to do like the red, black and white thing on the tree. And they didn't have anything. Everything had like some sort of, it was gold everywhere, blue. We did blue last year and I don't want to do blue this year. So we're going to have to go to Target because I feel like Target will have more. So we're going to head to Target, y'all, and see if we get lucky. Yeah, so we was just talking about, I don't know how we got to just movies, uh, uh, mate scenes, what they call it? It looks like sex scenes when you got. It's not meet. necessarily sex scenes because it's not like they actually doing it. But like, okay, for instance, that movie with Megan Good. Yeah. Remember when she was uh, she they was on the countertop and they was kissing. And so I was asking Marvin like, how would you deal with that boo? If I was, I'd be like, we about to be broke today. Uh uh <laughs> <laughs> Because some of those uh, scenes is so. Even, I'd be like, you don't even do that at home. I said, I need, the, I need the, the scene to look just like at my house. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a part on there where he was lifting her leg and kissing on her on the shoulder and I said I wonder how does her husband handle that that's her job and I know he know that was her job when they first met each other however I know my husband I'd be like you need to reverse that scene and play the same thing at the crib <laughs> <laughs> he went from that team like I'm not watching this Dana I'm not about to watch this you would be so annoyed like he would be like okay the check cancel Right. Cancel the damn check, Dana. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Like when I say you have to have a strong, even me, I would not play it. I'd be like, wait a minute. Uh, -uh. no, I'm gonna need a It'd Louis bag. I'm gonna need a new house, mansion. I'm gonna need all yeah, that. A Louis bag can't can't uh it take really away can't. my feelings. It really can. You right, boo boo. You yeah. right. That's so true. But yeah, I was laughing. I don't know what made us think about that, but I just thought about a lot of the intense uh scenes that normally be on those movies and they are big major movies but like how do the husbands deal with seeing or do they just not watch it they say okay I'll i'm not watching watch it. it yeah I agree. I, i'll probably watch like maybe the first one or something like that okay. until then, then i'll be like okay i'm not gonna watch it. no more of your movies yeah yeah they got like scenes like and that. i don't think i would be mad about it like i don't we'd be fighting yeah and i was gonna say that i probably wouldn't mind being an actor but the problem is those are such touchy like you gotta have a strong and let me tell you something this one right here this gemini right here he is and very uh, vice versa. If, yeah if um the guys got scenes how do, how do, true. How do the, the wives and the women deal with that they'd be like hell no nah. that's exactly. what they say so yeah no 100 i agree you got to have a strong and that's something definitely you probably already and then the was doing that they be doing they be they be making it look so real they do oh my god <laughs> even though they really don't be doing, they don't really be doing, doing all that but. and I, I can only imagine it's very uncomfortable all these cameras in your face like when i'm filming doing a makeup tutorial i'm like okay just remove the camera out your head, Dana. So I can only imagine doing the sex scene, then you got all these people. It's not a very intimate thing to the actor. But <laughs> I can't help it when you in a the theater, it feel like it's literally legit. So uh, we at Target, y'all. Yes, y'all. We finally at Target. So we are about to see if they got all my stuff. I hope they do, you guys, because I'm getting hungry. Right, we're gonna find something to eat before. Yes. Before it's time to, go to, the movies or something. to go. So, we're going to go on Target, see if we can find something in there, you guys. Wish us luck. And we will see y'all in a minute. Okay. Bye. Y'all, okay. I am not getting lucky. Look at those cute bears. Let me see. Okay. Okay, good. Huh. Maybe we can get. <coughs> no, I need black or red. All of these are. 
Oh my god, we really got this shop at Amazon? Those are some cute clothes, like uh, stockings. Right, because you see how they got like the gray ones here. Man. Okay. So this is going to be have to be like a to be continued. Well, what we can do. Yeah. What we could do is. Okay, because these got like. <laughs> we could do a. What is it called? Spray paint them up. <laughs> spray paint them? No. That's going to be crazy. You to spray paint them. That's funny. Okay. Well, you guys, that was an epic fail. And to be honest with you, this is probably the reason why a lot of people shop online. Because when you're looking for certain things, it's never really in the store. So, we're going to... What I'm going to do is, I am going to shop online for the items. And I'll let you guys know what I get. And then we're going to continue this so stay tuned with you guys is going to be like in a swipe in like 2.5 seconds but for us mm -hmm. it's going to take us a little bit more time for to get our stuff and then i'll show you guys the items that we have and we'll show you how we decorate the tree okay stay tuned uh, we're about to actually go find something to eat and then we're going to head to, to the, the show and so we will see you guys in a little bit and we are here you guys didn't see the movie yeah, we're oh. about to go see this mug. Hope it's good. It's worth everything they're talking about. So we will see y'all in a minute. After you met really? <laughs> oh, don't touch that. Don't touch it. I got it for you. Oh, really? You Thank you. <laughs> really? <laughs> you is so bad. It's so cute. <laughs> so yeah, I might be going over there to give me a drink. It's nobody in here, literally. There's nobody in here. It's nobody in here. Literally. But this one got, you got my drink. And let me see, we about to get us some snacks real quick. This is the bartender. Right. It's not my drink, it's her drink. Popcorn, I'm about to do it. Him, my drink. Hey, you got my drink. Give me the straw. Put it in. Yeah, I'll put it in. Okay. So he about to go get us some snacks real quick. I'm trying to put my drink in here. It's so nice in here. It's literally nobody in here right now. So I got this. And he's over there getting popcorn. So it should be coming out like in a little bit. Yeah, this one got a whole system when it comes down to putting popcorn on his uh, stuff. And then we like this lemonade with the iced tea mixed. Thank me later. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, he about to go post. <laughs> I got my little drink. It's really good too. What is it? It's um, what is it called? It's um. Yes, my invite. Yeah. It's a set. <laughs> it's like nobody it's in here. It's gonna be a whole lot of in here. Yeah. It's really King Richard No, that's because we out here in Celine. <laughs> so unfortunately it's not a lot of people out here. <laughs> so you have to see what's in here. Huh. You feel? F1, F1, two. F1, two. Yeah. You like right here. Mm -hmm. It's over here eating all the popcorn. This is great. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. We've been waiting on a movie to come on. she can't do. Y'all know how to think? Yes, daddy. Now these people we about to go see, you gonna show them how dangerous you are? Yes, daddy. 
Let me see your dangerous face. Well, your da that's your dangerous face. That's your dangerous face. That's, okay, don't do that for the people. Don't do that. Man, you guys, it was so good. Yeah, that was a very, very good movie. It was, it, was, it was super powerful. It was so motivational and super good. I love the way the dad yeah. talked to them, how he was so sweet, but at the same time, very, you know, encouraging the whole nine. The mama wasn't no joke either. I don't want to tell too much of the story. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But it was, it was good. definitely uh, empowering and, with, with women, yeah. black women, people of color. Yes, you got to see it. If you got a daughter in general, like you a girl dad or a mom uh, mm -hmm. who got daughters, definitely, I think even boys, like the way that the movie is, it's very encouraging no matter who. It's who it is but the girls i really was just uplifted and empowered yeah. i love the way they did um just the way the whole movie is it, it was just really really nice it's and definitely a, a a little bit of a tear jerker a little bit it, it is you gonna find some parts, parts where you gonna like, try to like you okay. gonna hold back yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah but it was a but it movie. was an amazing movie so you guys make sure you go and see king richard oh my god you're gonna love it i promise you get your kids yeah Get your daughters, get your sons too. It's good that they see this type of uh, empowerment as well. But oh my God, we loved it. We loved Def every bit of definitely it. Definitely to see how uh, um, how a black family is raised. Yeah. Uh, in an environment that's not as as good as it right. as they wanted it to be. Yeah, it's not. But they made the best, and what was taught in them to the core was even better than than. And, and that's the true thing, because money can't buy everything. Right. So what they were taught and what was instilled in them was amazing. Like it kept them grounded, and I loved every bit of it. I loved how can't give no spoilers or whatever, but yeah. he was very. They were very different than the way the other parents. Um, train their kids and i love the way they just did it. it it was amazing i did it was they perfect no it was some parts in there honey where the mama spoke up and i was like yeah. yes yeah. <laughs> yes but it they had the perfect roles that they played in those kids life and it was amazing it was just it was groundbreaking so you guys make sure you see that movie king richard so now it's late it's about what time yeah. Oh uh, shoot! What time is it? It's probably like eleven o'clock at What's night now, on a Friday. So if you got to this point, we we're gonna say um, the word of the vlog is "have fun." Have fun. Yep. All right, you guys. So put that in, down in the in the comment section if you got here. Yeah. Comment section. Have fun. Have fun. The next day. This cold tea right here. Ranger games in the mud. Oh my god. The mud going back this way. <laughs> I'm a deep boy. <laughs> and then I can, you know, really? Like, mm. Just this man that found him a hat that finally fit his head, and it just so happened to be a Christmas Ranger game hat. In the this is crazy. <laughs> really? You didn't thug out Rudolph. <laughs> oh my God! Somebody help me! <laughs> you is so funny. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so this is what we got we got this one for the fireplace i got this for wrap around a tree we got some black we are going to do a plaid and white look red white and look i might throw a couple of black wolves and then we also got some thanksgiving plates yeah i like I that too at a tree that, that had the same thing that's some of this let me show you let me show you find it we might get that too Okay. All right. Well, let's head off to grocery yeah. shopping because I got a couple items I need to pick up for Thanksgiving. So, you want to close that? Oh, uh oh. <laughs>
Thank you.